Hello friends. Let's see the multiple choice questions on fluid mechanics. Here, in each question, you have given 10 seconds to solve. If you know the answer, you can comment in the comment box. Let's see the questions. So first question is An ideal fluid is Options are Option A frictionless and incompressible Option B one which obeys Newton's law of viscosity Option C highly viscous Option D none of these Your time start now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 stop so answer is option a frictionless and incompressible now next question is newton's law of viscosity relates the options are option a shear stress and viscosity option b velocity gradient and pressure intensity option c shear stress and rate of angular deformation in a fluid Option D pressure gradient and rate of angular deformation Your time start now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 stop So answer is option C shear stress and rate of angular deformation in a fluid Now next question is A fluid is the one which options are option A cannot remain at rest under the action of shear force option B continuously expands till it fill any container option C is incompressible option D permanently resist distortion your time start now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 3 stop so answer is option a cannot remain at rest under the action of shear force now next question is potential flow is the flow of options are option a compressible fluids with shear option b compressible fluids with no shear Option C incompressible fluids with shear Option D incompressible fluids with no shear Your time start now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 stop So answer is option D incompressible fluids with no shear Now next question is In turbulent flow the options are Option A the fluid particles move in an orderly manner Option B the momentum transfer is on molecular scale only Option C the shear stress is caused more effectively by cohesion than momentum transfer Option D The shear stresses are generally larger than in a similar laminar flow. Your time start now. 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 Stop. So answer is option D. The shear stresses are generally larger than in a similar laminar flow. Now next question is Steady flow occurs when the options are option A conditions change steadily with time option B conditions are the same at the adjacent points at any instant option C conditions do not change with time at any point option D rate of velocity change is constant your time start now 10 9 8 7 
2 1 stop so answer is option c conditions do not change with time at any point now next question is turbulent flow generally occurs for cases involving options are option a highly viscous fluid option b very narrow passages option c very slow motion option d none of these your time start now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 stop so answer is option d none of these now next question is potential flow is characterized by the options are option a irritational and frictionless flow option b irritational and frictional flow option c one in which dissipation of mechanical energy into heat occurs option d formation of eddies within the stream your time start now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 stop so answer is option a irritational and frictionless flow now next question is shear stress in turbulent flow is due to the options are option a viscous property of the fluid option b fluid density option c fluctuations of the velocity in the direction of flow option d fluctuation of the velocity in the direction of the flow as well as transverse to it your time start now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 stop so answer is option a viscous property of the fluid now next question is a steam tube is that which has dash cross section entirely bounded by streamlines options are option a a circular option b any convenient option c a small option d a large your time start now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 stop so answer is option b any convenient if you like my video please like my video share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel